Hello everybody, my name is SchizoDad and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft Bedrock server version 1.20.1 .1 using Amazon AWS Web Services. So first off, what you want to do is you want to head over to an internet browser and type in aws.com. aws.com. Then you're going to sign in to the console. If you already have an account, just use the root user account. If you don't have an account, set one up. There is a paywall. There is a $1 deposit that you do get back, but this is gonna be 100% free if you stay within the criteria that they give you. So I'll be right back after I log in. So when you log in, you're gonna be greeted with this screen. Go ahead and click on EC2. And then you're gonna to want to click on instances. Now, this is already an instance that I have running Schizoland. It's a uh, server that I have running for the subscribers of my TikTok and for those who send gifts that are larger than a galaxy, which is a thousand coins. So if you want to join, become a subscriber or, uh, you know, send a gift on a live. Either way, you can get the IP address for that. This is currently blurred out, though. So then what you want to do is head over to the upper right hand corner to the button that says launch instances. You're going to click on that and then let's just name this server free server. And what you want to do is come down and click on the Windows application OS image. Make sure it's Windows 2022 base free tier eligible. Then you want to leave the instance type as a T2 one core CPU with one gig of memory. Next, what you want to do is select a key pair. So you're gonna create a new key pair and you're gonna name it free server key. Now, leave it as RSA and leave it as a PEM. Create key pair. Then what you want to do is take that, cut it, cut it, cut it from your downloads and paste it on your desktop now that everything is set up you want to only allow RDP traffic from your IP that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be blurred out as well all the other stuff you don't have to worry about so just head on over to the launch instance uh, button and it'll launch your instance it takes a little bit to load but that's okay it'll uh, It'll launch it, so then click back to instances, and as you can see, it says pending right here. It'll take a little bit for it to load up, but um, eventually it will, and then we can get into it with our uh, remote desktop application. I'll be right back. So now that our server is running, you're going to want to click on the instance type. You're going to want to click connect, RDP client, download the remote desktop file, and then click get password. You're going to upload your private key, which is on your desktop. It's going to be the PEM, the PEM file, decrypt password. So now you want to copy and paste this. Copy. Double click on the free server. Allow. Paste the password. Remember me, otherwise you'll have to put this in all over again. Click OK. Now it's just asking if you're okay with uh, connecting to it via remote desktop application. So that's yes. And it'll initialize. So now it's going to take just a little bit for it to start up. And we will be back once that happens. So now you're going to be greeted with this screen. It's going to ask you to connect to a network. Click yes. And then it'll switch to the Windows Server screen. So now what you want to do is head over to Microsoft Edge. I know, gross, but Microsoft Edge is all that we have right now and this computer does not have enough processing power to download Opera, Firefox, or Chrome. So you gotta wait a little bit for it to load up. Just be patient with it, it takes a little bit. It's thinking really hard. So now what you want to head over to do is Minecraft Bedrock server client download you want to click on the first result now there's a few different versions that you can have access to but it doesn't all the other ones are just uh 
either previews or for Linux. So you're going to want to do the first one, the Minecraft dedicated server software for Windows. Now you want to click agree to the Minecraft end user license agreement and click download. Now this little pop-up pops up on Edge. It might be somewhere different if you install the different web browser. But it's going to pop up right here and you're going to click keep file or save file or download or just move the file if you have it set to where it downloads automatically. So you want to click open file. It's going to take a little bit. So now that that's up, you can X out of your internet browser and then right click this PC open a new window now you're gonna to want to double click on your local drive new folder on the C drive and you're gonna name this server or whatever server whatever name you want your server to be you're going to want to go back to your Bedrock Server zip folder, click Compressed Folder Tools, Extract All, Browse, go to your C drive, double click on your C drive, and click once on Server, Select Folder, Extract. What I've noticed is that it takes a lot shorter amount of time to extract the files rather than copying and pasting them for some reason. I don't know. But maybe someone can enlighten me in the comments as to why extracting the contents is faster than copying and pasting the contents. So I will be right back once this is done. And we'll get into it from there. Alright, so now that that's extracted, you can go ahead and X out of your Windows. And you're going to want to just completely delete... Uh, where is it? Where is it? You're going to want to completely delete your bedrock server zip you're not going to need it so go into your recycle bin recycle bin tools empty recycle bin. just completely wipe that off the face of the earth so next you're going to want to minimize your um rdp and head back over to your instances click on your free server you're going to want to go to security Launch wizard, whatever number you have. And then you're going to select inbound rules. Now click on edit inbound rules. You're going to add a rule, custom UDP, port 19132. You're going to set that anywhere IPv4 and name this Minecraft UDP inbound. Save the rules. Click on outbound rules, edit outbound rules, add rule, UDP, port 19132, anywhere IPv4, Minecraft, UDP, outbound. Save the rules. So now that you have that done, you just set up accessibility to your server. So now what you want to do is click back to your remote Windows desktop. And you're going to want to type in Windows Firewall into your search bar on your server client. So you're going to want to go to Advanced Settings. It's going to take a little bit to load. Just be patient. These machines are not fast. So then you want to go to Inbound Rules. It's going to take a second to load. You're going to go New Rule, Port. UDP 19132 next allow the connection next anywhere next Minecraft UDP inbound it doesn't matter what you name it as long as you remember what you named it so you can edit it later if you want to set it up with a different port port UDP 19132 Allow the connection. Next, Minecraft UDP outbound. 
So now you have it on your physical server and on the network that you're going to be using for the server. So first what we want to do, before we launch our server, before we do anything, you're going to want to click on this PC, local disk, go to your server, and you're going to go to Bedrock Server. No, you're going to want to go to Server Properties. Open with, try an app on this PC, Notepad. So here's where you can change everything in your server if you so choose. We're going to leave it exactly how it is. Feel free to read through the options on your server, change it to what you want. Um, if there's one thing that you need to pay attention to, it's these ports right here. These are the IPv6 and IPv4 ports that the game is going to be listening to so you can add people to your game. The level name. That selects the level that you're going to be playing. If you create a level and you name it Server 1, and then you make server 2, it's going to have server 1 in a folder and server 2 in a folder. If you change it back to server 1, it's going to access that folder. It's kind of like saved worlds. Other than that, we don't have to do anything to this. So we can X out of that. Next, what you want to do is double click on Bedrock server and it's going to start our instance by bringing up a CMD prompt. So right now it's going through all its checksums making sure everything is able to be created and now you want to see the line server started that is the most important thing that server has started so now what do we do from here well you can access your game make sure you leave this window up you leave this window up otherwise it will not run so then what you want to do is get your IP address from this little area over here. My camera's covering the IP address, but that's completely fine. You're gonna want the public IP address, which is 18.117.71.183. So we're gonna minimize and we're gonna open Minecraft. Now this is for Bedrock. There are certain versions of this server where you're able to run Java and Bedrock at the same time. You can run just a Java server. Either way, this is just for Bedrock right now. There are some other tutorials out there that will allow you to run Java and Bedrock at the same time. I currently do not know how to do that, but I will be educating myself on how to do that and I will show you guys in the near future. So you're gonna load up Minecraft. It takes just a little bit because of all the crap that they're packing into this nowadays. So now that we're signed in, this is the wrong character. There, the Fox Eddie. That's what I like. Play. You're gonna wanna go servers. Add server. So now that you have this all set in, you can just click play. So now it's locating the server. And it's gonna generate the world for us. And here we go. This is our world. Break some blocks, punch some stuff. As you can see, there's plenty of stuff to do around here. So, the question begs, how am I supposed to OP myself in order to get administrative privileges? So now what you want to do, on a separate screen, you want to take your Minecraft and put it on a different screen. So you're gonna come up here and click this right here. Drag it over. You're gonna want to rejoin the server, the test server. And as you can see right here, Snow the Fox 98 just got spawned in. So now, in order to do that, you do OP space snow the fox 98 and that means that you got OP'd so then you can tab over drag your mind drag your minecraft back over and now game rule show show coordinates true 
and now I can show the coordinates, or I could kick myself. And we're gonna say, boo, you whore. And I kicked myself from the server. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for the server. If you have any other questions, go ahead and ask me in the comments. Make sure you catch my lives on TikTok. Send me a gift if you want to be joined into Schizoland, and I will see you in the next video.